Hello and welcome back. So today I got some new stones, diamond stones, to add into my collection of stones and straps and all that uh, for my Wicked Edge. And I just bought the 3000 grit diamond stone, which is their finest diamond stone, so I'm pretty excited about that. And on the other side is a glass platen to allow for um, lapping films. And I went with the three micron diamond lapping film. So you just peel, stick, and go. So, but uh, I had to rearrange all of my stones just because I have this one little thing and I, it was a deal. So I had uh, all my stones out and I thought it would be a decent time to show kind of exactly what it is that I use as far as stone progression, um, what kind of you know, emulsions and stuff like that that I use. And also I have this um, list that is directly off of the Wicked Edge uh, website and it shows their entire grip progression of all the stuff that they offer. And as you can see, I went ahead and marked the stuff that I have. But uh, so I just kind of show you what I have basically. So it's a show and tell. So starting is the 100 and 200 grit stones so you can see that's pretty grainy looking and it's pretty coarse and these are well broken in too so i imagine that the 50 and the 80s are just insane looking but uh yeah so that's where you spend most of your time if you're reprofiling doing all that kind of stuff um when you're just eating metal that's where you're at moving up i've got the 400 and the 600 there's the four there's the six and I'm realizing that my stones are filthy so all that right there is just basically uh, metal that I've removed off of knives so I need to clean these maybe I can do another video on that how I do that um, moving on after the 600 this is the 800 and the 1000 grit so this was these three came with my the pack that I bought. So if you go to Wicked Edge or wherever outlet sells them, they have like pro packs or whatever. So I got the pro pack two. And it came with this, 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 and a couple other things and I'll show you. But after the fact, I bought most of the rest of my stuff after the fact, just as additional stuff. So moving on after the 1000 grit, I have 1500 and 2200 grit diamond stones. And these are finally just getting broken in. I really freaking like these stones. There's the 22. So definitely a big, you know, big difference. But now, here's the new boys. Whoa. So these guys kind of go right here. Again, there's the 3000. Now this is when it gets interesting for me because typically, like I just put these little paddles on and just keep moving on up, but I'm gonna have to put these on, do the 3000 diamond stone, and then according to the list over here, and then do my ceramics in between the 3000 and the glass. So it's gonna go 3000, ceramic, ceramic, glass. So I have to switch these back and forth a little bit, but that's all right. Um, so this is the 1.4 micron ceramic stone and the 0.6 micron ceramic stone. And these were also part of the uh, Pro Pack 2. So this is the 1.4. And this is the 0.6. Okay. So then after these, after the 0.6, then I would come back with my glass my lapping film on there do the next wave so that's just kind of bridging the gap between so I guess this is kind of why I bought these right here so here's the 3000 grit that's where it would stop and then I would jump to these ceramics here and then after the ceramics it went all this way oops and this is the lapping film so I did not have that but it went from all the way here all the way down here to my first leather strop so you can see that I was missing quite a few steps 
in regards to this list anyways. This isn't restricted, by the way. I just <laughs> printed this off at work. So that's how it comes out of the printer. Um, so I was, anyways, there's a big gap. So I kind of wanted to fill that gap a little bit with the lapping film. And maybe in the future, I might pick up some other stuff. But anyways, after the glass, yeah, so I would go 3000 ceramic, ceramic, glass. And then we get into my straps, my leather straps. And this is the, also this set of straps is part of the Pro Pack 2. And these are your kind of basic, I guess, but uh, still very nice uh, cowhide straps. And they are one micron and 0.5 micron. So there's the one. These probably could use cleaned and reapplicated with the paste. Here's the 0.5. Getting pretty shiny, pretty well worn, which is good. So, and these are the applicators that it came with in the Wicked Edge. And I've had this thing for like four or five years or so. And this is about half of what these initially started with. This one, I'm, apparently I use a little bit more, but um, these things last quite a ways. So, but I'm kind of getting close to needing some new. Anyways, after my cowhide, I go to my kangaroo straps. And these, I have, I use uh, Gendi stuff. I guess left to right, it would be like this. So these are liquid diamond polydiamond emulsion. This is roughly the equivalent to 60,000 grit, but it's 0.25 micron. So that's on the coarse side of these straps. Once you buy like individual straps, they just are labeled coarse and fine. So it's kind of up to you to remember what it is. And then on the fine side, same thing, uh, but this is roughly equivalent to 160,000 grit and it's 0.1 micron, 0.1. So getting pretty, deep, pretty fine. So I do like the, these kangaroo straps are awesome. They really are awesome. But right now we're kind of, here's the other leather straps. Now we're getting down here to the very fine. So I won't go into it, but these things are very close, but not quite exactly what they have here. So that's why those marks are in between. It's just for my reference. And finally, we move on to the nano straps. These are some sort of synthetic material that is crazy and it feels weird when you're sharpening. And yeah, it's weird. It's like it's smooth, but it grabs, but it's, I don't know, it's different. But apparently those pads on there, the nano cloth has zero um, abrasion qualities. So if I'm sharpening up a knife with just the nano, with no emulsion or anything put on it, then apparently it doesn't do anything. So you have to, the entirety of the abrasion qualities of these straps is due to these, what I put in there. So I guess, nope, that is right. So this is from Kenneth Schwartz. And these two things were freaking expensive. I can't remember what it was, but I remember being like, holy shit. Um, but anyways, these are as fine as you get. And this is 0 0.05 micron PDP. So I think that's uh, polycrystalline diamond something, I, who knows. But uh, yeah, so it's a diamond emulsion, super fine, right? And then the finest of the fine is 0 0.025 micron. So getting down to the nitty gritty on these. So, but yeah, that's basically is max that list out, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, these kind of lose their effectiveness, I think, if you don't bridge some of these gaps. So it's just more difficult to remove um, more coarse, more coarse um, grind lines, you know, just basically, yeah, the, the markings that you leave in the, in the blade, you're just trying to refine it and getting finer and finer and finer, smoother and smoother, which turns into reflectivity. And if you got big gaps, it makes it a pain in the ass. So I'm trying to kind of fill in my gaps a little bit. So this will be a first for me with the lapping films, but uh, I'm looking forward to them. I, all you hear, I, I used to be on Facebook and stuff like that. And on the Wicked Edge uh, page, there were all kinds of guys that swore up and down about the lapping films. And, you know, 
I don't know. I just kind of was into straps, but trying to get outside of my own box a little bit here and thought I'd try the lapping film. So maybe I might need to get some more of these in the future. But that's my progression from uh, the more, most coarse to the most fine that I personally have. And again, this, uh, this list is available on the Wicked Edge website and the frequently asked questions section. And this isn't, I don't think this would be exclusive to um, just the Wicked Edge either. So if you got, you know, a KME or whatever it is you have and you're into this kind of stuff, that's available. So anyways, take care. Have a good rest of your day. See you.